Cause she a fashion killer And I'm a jiggy nigga uh. I said rockin' uh. Apart from the ASOS try on haul we are going to be filming today, I'm also going to show you behind the scenes of how I make my fashion videos well at home while we are all on lockdown. If this is something that interests you, do sit back, relax and enjoy this video. Grab a drink and let's roll. If you are a returning subscriber of mine, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Please keep watching my videos. Thank you so much for your support. I did some shopping on ASOS lately and before we go into that, I'll tell you guys a bit about how I film my outfits. So step one guys is planning. There's a lot of planning that goes into this because I don't want to waste time. Once I want to film, the night before usually or even two days before, I get out all the outfits in my phone. I either take a picture of it or like let's just say if I'm going to so net top, I could just get a picture of net top and make a pick stitch of all the outfits, how I'm styling them and if possible where I'm even going to pose for So this is the folder I found for this one. You can see this outfit. Okay, let's put the outfit I'm wearing now. So you can see this outfit here, the kitchen, which is where I would like to take one of the pictures and then jesus and wine okay this jesus and wine is tiktok so i also want to do some tiktok videos while i'm doing this guys this is a lot that's it this, okay, look, let's look at this one so i wrote um couch and then filter so the tiktok video i'm going to do is the one i just called filter but i already put the tiktok so tiktok videos are actually inside this folder as well and this is an extra for just an inspiration and how to pose in the kitchen or you know because one of them is I won't take in the kitchen and taking pictures in my kitchen is the most difficult thing so I had to try and get a bit of inspiration for this shot. Planning segment is to me the most important because it puts you in the mood and then it just lets you know what you're going to expect from the day of filming. So first of all when I wake up I'm like am I in the mood, am I in the mood, am I in the mood. Once I'm in the mood I jump up immediately. I don't, I try not to have my back because I have my back at night so I try not to have my back because of all the makeup I'm going to wear. So I just wash my face, use, do my a bit of morning face routine and then wear makeup on it immediately. Obviously with the primer and stuff so you can see i set the camera set the stand um just tidy up the sitting room push tables just fix up you know how i want it to be the living room as well and the corridor just make sure everything is in place also you know just tidy up everywhere for it and basically that's it so once i now do that i wear my makeup i wear a dress the first outfit which is this black one and then wear my makeup usually i use my g7x which is just right here to film my normal lookbooks and then if there's tiktok and stuff i use the camera which is just beside here everything is all about the sleeves exaggerated sleeves are such a huge way to make a statement with simple clothes if you see this dress i'll put a picture of it it is just a straight dress with lovely sleeves so yeah that is outfit is this plaid three quarter sleeve one this one is very loose if nigerian you know the print called ghana Moscow. that's kind of the print of this dress and i thought it would just be fun to include it it's an orange dress and for the tiktok video for this dress i'm going to do something that has to do with travels i'll actually carry a ghana Moscow bag i hope it comes out nice. Is this pink number um i love the fact that it's a midi dress i love the fact that the fabric was silk and i love the fact it has like little slits on the side but yeah you can see this dress is so beautiful it's something you can wear you can dress up and down most of the pieces i show you can dress okay this one i don't know how you can dress this kind of dress down shabble yeah that piece is it's just very simple and elegant i really really love it so here's how i stamped it
is this blue one. Oh gosh, I love the sleeves of this. Like this was this wasn't the one that made me say, okay, let's do a sleeves lookbook, but it's a good number. This is such a party dress. It is such a cocktail event dress. It is such a wedding guest dress. If you don't mind wearing something really short, it is a huge, cute statement. Really, really chic, depending on how you style it. I'd rather you wear it with sandals. No, I'm going to wear them with um, cover heels, but it's really, really cute. If you wear it with like metallic sandals, you will look so pristine and then just carry a cute metallic clutch. You look really beautiful. So yeah, this is the how I start. <music> But not the least is this red dress okay i thought this dress was red until it came and it looks like dark orange but this was the dress that made me fall in love with sleeves this period like when i saw this dress I was like nah i have to buy this dress wish 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 this dress was just a bit longer to the knee just so that it's a bit more comfortable for many people because there's already so much drama on the sleeve and then you're not making it that short if i make someone like that's not that comfortable with um attention shy away from the dress but guys i really love this dress and this is how i start <music> Yes, guys wish me luck because i'm going to be filming tiktoks and i'm also going to be doing pictures for instagram on that one and then um let me just tell you guys a little secret i'm really really trying to see if i can come up with a lookbook at the end of this year just showing my style and like a lot of my how to style processes so a lot of my pictures need to be good quality that's the reason why i actually sit down and set up all these things I can't be stressing my husband to come and go outside and take me, you know, he, on a normal day, he doesn't even want, it's now when we're doing COVID, or this is someone to come and take me pictures. Obviously, you can't be working photographers now, so, yeah. Just wish me luck with everything, guys, and yeah, hope you guys are staying safe. If there's any kind of video you want to see, please send a message to me. If you've not learned your how to clone, go and click up. A lot of people have been watching that video, and like, I've been seeing it on Instagram, how they clone pictures, even people that sell stuff, you're just showing people how to style in one picture, it's just amazing. In. I'll put a link in the description box. Go and learn how to do it. Something if you're into Instagram and yeah, it's just a way to become creative, guys. There's no skill that is lost when you learn it. Enough of the rambling. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, don't forget to go and subscribe and click the bell. The rest of you who are already part of my family, I love you. Cheers to being part of the MG tribe. See you guys on the next episode. Bye bye.